up everybody 10 things that I love about my Ford Focus ST now you guys might have seen my video of 10 things I hate about my Focus ST but I love this car and I wanted to make a video about how much I love it so here you go let's get into thing number one. First thing we're obviously going to talk about the looks here like look at this car man I just got a com compliment about it um, I went to the car wash today and <laughs> the guy was like uh, it was actually the general manager my car was so dirty had bugs all over it and everything and the guy was like man that's a beautiful car and I get thumbs ups at red lights and um, you know people wanting to race me all the time um, I think they think the car looks cool and fast but like it's it's a great looking car people love it um, people love to see it so um, number one is looks number two is gonna be exhaust um, now I'm not just talking about the stock exhaust I'm just talking about how the exhaust sounds in general most people modify the exhaust I highly recommend that you do yeah I, I recommend modifying it but even still like just the design of the exhaust like look how cool it looks the middle like how it comes in the middle and everything even the stock design um, it has that futuristic like single pipe look but it's like a wide pipe it looks really nice um, I prefer that look with the uh, the double pipe in the middle um, there's also a bunch of other options like there's a Tomei exhaust that has one single big pipe so if you like single big pipes um, I'd probably go with that option. But yeah, it just sounds good. Like it's a good sounding car. Um, it's got burbles and everything. My car right now doesn't have the tune on it because uh, I'm trying to save money, but it sounds so good. The stock exhaust um, does not sound bad at all. I would modify the exhaust. Modify the exhaust with a stock tune and everything sounds great. Um, I have a burble tune that I run most of the time. Um, so if you want to see that, um, all of my other videos on the Focus ST feature that exhaust in it and I'm probably flexing it a little bit so you'll see it in my other videos if you haven't um, which if you haven't seen my other videos please consider subscribing by the way I would really appreciate it I'm a new channel so um, everything helps next up on the list is handling now you can see that I do have uh, modified wheels and tires but the handling on this car even still is so good guys like I sent it around a corner the other day and I went, I, I just floored it around the corner and I, I, I even like stunned myself. I was like, man, this feels so, this, this, sorry, this feels so good. I like, I have moments where I'm just like, man, I love this car. The only thing I've modified is the rear motor mount. I don't think it's hundred percent necessary. It kind of makes the ride a little more uh, bumpy, not bumpy, but um, you can feel the engine more. It's like, it's kind of like uh, shaky like that just gonna get down here get you like a, a new shot you know it's really hot on the pavement anyways um, next up is speed a lot of people like to talk about the speed of their cars but um, this baby is a uh, you know it's four-cylinder four-cylinder turbo um, whenever whenever I have my uh, tune on I'm making about 300 wheel horsepower a little bit under that probably 290 295 uh, if I'm lucky but um, I'm on the stock tune right now. It's still a very fast car, guys. It's it, it'll surprise you. Some some cars I was surprised to beat. With, you know, this was with all my mods in tune and everything, um, which you can get the mods for you know probably fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars altogether, except for the wheels and tires. Um, I I was very surprised that I hung on with the Ford Focus RS that was tuned stage one. It's just very surprising that I was able to keep up with that car. Now obviously if we kept going all the way up, it, you know, the RS probably has a higher top speed. But um, when we were just racing, we did like a 30 roll up to like 100. Um, there was no clear winner in that race. So it was very, very surprising. And then I actually, I've beat a, uh, um, a Mustang 5.0. Uh, first generation 5.0 stock, it was a stock Mustang, but you know, still, I think it's still impressive with my tune and everything. Um, and then also, you know, the Nissan Zs and BMWs. So, you know, if you tune this car right, have the right mods, and you're a good driver, you can, you can beat cars that'll surprise you. Um, yeah. Next up, I want to talk about the storage a little bit. Should I do a video where I stay the night in my car do like a camping in the focus st video i think that'll be pretty cool anyways this car has really good storage um i am very surprised by it and i i'm somebody that needs storage because i'm in a band i uh, i i not only play drums uh, keyboard 
uh, guitar stuff like that but you know I find myself hauling equipment all the time like speakers and, and I need the space but surprisingly this car can keep a lot in it like easily it can fit an entire drum kit and some speakers but like I'm talking like the other day we went to the storage unit me and my fiance and she was like there's no way all this stuff is gonna fit in there and I'm like it's it's definitely gonna fit in my car I'm like I'm telling you it'll 100% fit in the car we had three giant like paddleboard um, things they're like 45 pound paddleboard backpacks and then we had my bass drum and then we had a bunch of other equipment in there for like for the paddleboard like the pumps had, like two pumps and a bunch of other stuff um, and I was you know we had to do some Tetris in here but it definitely fit for sure I was very surprised about that I don't know if you can well you can see because I'll zoom in see that that's a manual transmission brother they only made this car in a manual um, which I think that's another cool thing it's like a respect thing for other drivers it's like they see you with the Focus ST and they're you know some people are kinda like you know some people respect the the ST drivers um, because they know that they were only made and only ever made in a manual which is a cool thing I think it's also cool that it's a kind of you know uh, theft deterrent, especially in America. A lot of people don't know how to drive manuals anymore. Um, hashtag save the manuals, but man, I love that it's a manual. It makes, you know, it just feels more connected to the car and all that junk that everybody says. But it's true. It's, it's really true. Next up, um, I definitely want to talk about the fan base on this car. Like, not just the people that are fans of the car, but like the fan base of people that have the car specifically because they love these cars so much they will help you out. If you're in like a Facebook group or something, they'll be like, you know, if you need anything, just let me know. Like they're so, they're so nice. Like I know that if I ever have a problem or an issue with my car, I, I'm not gonna hesitate to, you know, post in the Facebook groups and just be like, hey, there's something going on. Never heard of this before. What do I do? And there's gonna be like, 70 comments on that just offering help and some of them might be might be like hey PM me or, You know give me a call. I'll help you out like people love these cars and they are passionate about these cars I think it's really says something about the YouTube channel also like um, There's a lot of people on on the channel that love focus STs and, and STs in general but um, more specifically focus STs that I was able to you know kind of um, it's nice that I'm kind of able to foster a more um, interactive um, Focus ST community here, which is cool. Um, I don't want it, that's not my intention. I kind of want my channel to be more automotive based in general, which you can see I'm posting, you know, other cars. But um, I understand like a lot of people just prefer to see the ST videos. Um, but, you know, I'm still going to keep doing my thing, whether the videos get views or not. The car is very easy to work on. So... Um, I had a, uh, a little issue that you might have heard about. You might have done it yourself if you're a uh, ST driver. Um, the purge valve. Probably about to be on my second purge valve, to be honest with you. Or second replacement. I'm on my second purge valve right now. It's very easy to replace, though. Like, this car is so easy to work on. The engine's pretty small. It, it's, it, it fits in there really well, but, like, everything's really easy to get to. So it's it's not a hard car to work on and that kind of goes to my next point is it's very easy to mod, which is one of the main reasons why I got the car. So if you like to mod cars, have fun, uh, definitely I think this should be one of the cars that's on the top of your list, to be honest with you. It's it's one of the easiest cars I've ever heard, heard of to mod, um, maybe aside from a Mustang or anything, but geez, there's so many parts available on this car. And you know, to tune it, you just get a Cobb access port. You can do a remote tune so easily with a really, really good tuner, and um, and it's great. Parts are very readily available. There's really cool headlight options, which I love. I love modifying headlights. Um, you know, side markers, uh, everything. Like it's so easy to mod. It's great. All right, last on the list. Um, I just want to talk about this. This might be a little unique, but ooh, there's. There's a beeping. So I left my headlights on because I'm trying to be cool. Look at this. Look how simple this car is. Now, it's not the only Ford that is this simple, but I just love how Ford does it so simply. It's just a simple car, simple design. You don't need much, obviously, you know. Um, like, everything is just so, like, 
intuitive and easy to use. I like how you can just come in here, flip this on, and you got max AC. I live in Florida, or you do it on four if you want max AC. I live in Florida, so AC is very important to us. And it's just so easy, just flip it on all the way. And then it's just like, it's easy. Why, why isn't everything this easy? Am I zoomed all the way in? But why isn't everything that easy? Now that's pretty much gonna be everything, but before you go, I want to quickly just talk to you guys. Um, now, I am finally about to be monetized on this channel, which is great. Um, it's gonna be a lot easier to post more often and um, make higher quality videos. I don't know if I'm actually gonna make money or anything, but like, I can now receive this thing called Super Thanks. Basically, it's a way to donate to the channel. It's right under the video. You've probably seen it before, but everything that you donate is gonna go directly into this build, into this channel. So um, I really hope that you guys, you know, you don't have to, you know, obviously, the, just the options there, I just wanna let you know. Um, I would really appreciate it. Um, and then also, I wanna do a Q&A. So if you guys have any questions or anything, um, and you want to be featured in a video drop them down below and I will feature them in a future video uh, It's probably going to be like a 2,000 subscriber Q&A or something like that But make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that but other than that make sure you hit the bell notifications Make sure you don't miss another video because I am gonna go ham this week um, and future weeks obviously, but um, I'm guys Come on Come on you gotta subscribe come on. But yeah I appreciate you uh, staying to the end. Make sure you leave a like, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace.